What's up, Gymshark? Welcome to your Gymshark 66 Thicker Thigh Workout with me, Jay, from the Grindhouse Studio. Now, who doesn't like a thicker thigh workout? I certainly do. You have a 12-minute workout today, and all it consists of is three exercises. I have a pair of medium-weighted 10-kilo dumbbells with me today. Whatever pair of dumbbells you have, they are absolutely fine. Now, the way this workout is going to work is going to start very nice, very gentle. I'm going to lure you into a false sense of security where you and I are going to become friends. You'll be thinking, ah, oh, this is a nice workout. Trust me, six, seven minutes in, the legs are doing this. And you're like, oh my God, this workout. Trust me. So in 45 seconds, the way we're going to work this workout is you're going to give me a 45 second movement and exercise followed by a 30 second break. You will always get a 30 second break. That is my promise to you. And the exercise will only ever be 45 seconds long. So exercise number one, you're going to grab one of your dumbbells and we're going to go through a goblet squat. So we're going to place our thick palms underneath the dumbbell. We hold the dumbbell close towards our chin. We're going to descend down in towards that squat. We hold and then we push our feet away from the floor, drive the squat. So in 10 seconds, we're in this goblet squat for 45 seconds. You got five, grab your dumbbell. Four, you got three, two, one, let's go. So drop down. Now, as we want this to be more thigh focused, more quad focused, I want you to make sure that you're only dropping the legs to 90 degrees. It's not wrong to get your uh, bum all the way down to the bottom and then drive up, but it doesn't stimulate the quads in the best way. Here, the quads are the most tension, and then you drive your feet through the floor, driving yourself up to that standing position. You got 20 seconds left. What did I say? First round, super easy, luring you in. We become friends. You're like, this is okay. I like this guy. He's creating a safe space for me to work out with. Trust me, five minutes in. You got four, three, two, one, and relax. That's it. So in 30 seconds, you're gonna go again, but we're gonna add an exercise. So you're gonna repeat the 45 second goblet squat, but we're just gonna increase the intensity a little bit more. And then we're gonna take a 30 second break and then add another exercise after our goblet squat. We wanna work it. The first time we do any movement, just chill with it. Treat it as a foundation, understand the movement. Then the second round, let's be a bit stronger and a bit sharper. You got five, grab your dumbbell. Four, three, two, one, let's go. So drop down. Push, drive through. Now, I want you to make sure when you're driving yourself up from that squat, there's an element of strength. So what we don't want is this. We don't want to sort of drop and then you're thinking, why did I turn this workout on? Oh, I can't be bothered. No, no, no. Control, hold. Drive your feet through the floor. And I want you shooting up to that standing position. See, bump. And then again, control yourself down. You've got 20 seconds left. You're gonna drop that dumbbell. You're gonna take a small 30 second break. And in that 30 second break, I'm gonna be demonstrating the next exercise. So make sure you're paying attention. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, breathe. You get the 30 second break, but pay attention. Look into me. You're gonna grab your second dumbbell, a quad focus reverse lunge. Legs gonna step back halfway. So it's a small half step. You drive that knee down towards the floor. Torso stays in upright position. Push off that front foot, and then we switch. So we step back halfway, drive the knee down, push off that front foot, step together. You got 10 seconds. We need both dumbbells for this one. You got nine, eight, ready, seven, stand up, six, five. Place your feet, four, three, chest up, two, one, let's go. So half step it, bump, push off that front foot. The reason that we're half stepping is that again, this is a quad focus workout. If I take a big step back, I'm overstretching the hamstring and it becomes more hamstring and glute focused. By just giving that half step and controlling the lunge down, pushing through that front foot, I'm really making sure I'm hitting that quad. So you've got 15 seconds remaining. You drop the dumbbells, you take a 30 second break. And then again, we repeat the movement. So you've got 10, nine, head up, chest up, seven, six, drive up, five, four, Three, two, one, relax. So again, 30 seconds. We hit the goblet squat for the very last time. We only do each movement three times. Then we hit the reverse lunge for the second time. Then we add an exercise. Now we're hitting the goblet squat for the third time. I need pace. So I need your squats now to be boom, 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 boom. 
You're never doing the goblet squat again. Make it count in the last round. You got seven seconds you're gonna go. Grab that dumbbell, tight to the chest, hit the goblet squat in four, three, two, one. Let's go. So now I want reps. Drive. Never let your body take a break. There should be a significant difference between round one and round three, yeah? Round three, you're like, I'm going all out. I am going all out, pushing those feet through the floor, driving yourself right to the top, squeezing through those quads. You got 20 seconds left. Stay with me, give it your all. We put this exercise behind us after this and we're done with this movement. So give me everything for 10, nine, eight, seven, squat it, six, five, four, three, Two, one, breathe. 30 seconds. Shake it out. Move the legs. Move around. Put your knickers down. Put your knickers down. Relax. So 20 seconds we go again. You see the difference? Anybody can do a squat. The squat is not exactly the hardest part. It's how we do the squat. The second round with the lunge, treat it the same time. We did the second goblet squat. Still controlled, add a bit more pace. You got five. Four, reverse lunge, three, two, one, let's go. So again, still controlled, but if you can just add a little bit more pace, that'd be great. That half step, push through the front of your foot, half step, push through that front foot, you got this. 30 seconds left, drive it right up into that standing position, big push. It's around about now you might be thinking, I wanna take a break, my legs are hurting, my heart rate's lifting, you got this. Focus with me, step with me, you're good. 15 seconds, big push, step back. You got 10, nine, you got it, eight, focus, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pay attention, look into me. Grab one dumbbell, place that one dumbbell in the center of your mat. From there, you're gonna put your heels on the back of the dumbbell, and elevate your heels. It's called a heel assisted squat. The one dumbbells placed on your chest or behind your neck, push the hips back, descend down in towards a squat and then drive yourself right to the top. This, when I tell you now, hits your quads like you wouldn't believe. You ready? Let's find out. Five, heels up, four, dumbbell, three, two, one. Let's go, so push the bum back. Hinge down 90 degrees. Drive your heels through the dumbbell. Now remember, round one, what did we say? Foundation round. It's a foundation round. You can go slow. You can control the movement. Save your energy. As long as you learn and understand and get a feel of this movement, I'm happy. Make sure you're not sitting down like this. I'm not sitting on my heels and pushing my knees forwards, yeah? I am pushing my bum back. Imagine there's a button behind me and I'm trying to press that button with my bum. So I push it, drop down in towards the quarter squat, and then drive right to the top. You got five, four, three, two, one, and breathe, put the dumbbell down. Now, 30 seconds, you got one more round of the reverse lunge. What do we say? Round three, pace, intensity, power. We need all of those things. Pace, intensity, and power. So in 15 seconds, we're gonna go. The last reverse lunge you're gonna do, 30 second break, the second heel assisted squat, break, then one set heel assisted squat, and then you're done. You got six, ready, five, four, three, two, one, let's go, step it back, big push off that front foot. So now I've got confidence in the movement. We've done this twice already, we feel good. We feel confident in knowing that our reverse lunge now is powerful, Therefore, we can do it with intensity and we could pick up the pace. So much about working out is about confidence, okay? Never just jump into it and just start going crazy straight away. Take your time, learn the move, then we push through. You got 15 seconds left. You get that 30 second break, make every lunge count. You got 10, nine, eight, lift your head up. Six, five, four, three, two, one, breathe, 30 seconds. Spit the dumbbells up, put it down, down. Look at me, deep breath into your nose, go. Exhale for the mouth. One more time for the nose. Exhale for the mouth. Calm down, you're good. 
15 seconds, heel assisted squat. Ready? You got 10, nine, eight, seven. Heels up, six, five. Lift the dumbbell, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So again, it's not round one anymore. We don't go as slow. We increase the pace and we squeeze the quads. With this movement, don't be afraid to lean back on towards that back dumbbell, yeah? Because your feet are on a decline and your heels are elevated, you can really lean back a little bit, push the heels into the dumbbell and drive right up to the top. 15 seconds, we get a break. If your quads are like mine right now, mine are screaming. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, push through five, four, three, two, one, breathe, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. If you're like me right now, let anybody else have a slight pang of anxiety. Let anybody else right now be like, ah, oh, tell you what, I'd rather not do this last one. If you're thinking that, you've pushed yourself to the point, you're exactly where you need to be. There has to be a slight fear, a slight moment of like, don't really want to do this. If you're there with me, perfect. Because you've got 10 seconds and you're going for the last one. Last one, make it count, you've got seven, six, heels up, five, Four, dumbbells, three, two, one, let's go. Power, intensity, pace, let's go. The whole workout is riding on you finishing this. Top tip, you always remember how you ended the workout. You never really remember the middle, you don't remember the start, but you will always and forever remember the last part of the movement and how it made you feel. So you've got 20 seconds remaining, to make yourself feel unbelievably strong, powerful, and think to yourself, I did that. Like, I did this. Keep driving, you got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, dumbbell down. Now, 30 seconds. You got a choice. You have a choice. Option one, you're done. Relax, sit down, turn it off, bye-bye. Option two, give me a body weight squat hold. Give me a body weight squat hold. No weights, no dumbbell, just you sitting back into that squat and just holding it. This is optional. This is optional. If you're like, maybe I can do it, maybe I can't. Let's find out. You've got eight seconds, you're gonna go. Seven, six, ready, five, four, place the feet, three, hips back, two, one, sit down. Boom. This is not just a squat. I want this squat to be a representation of anything you've been through recently that really tested you, all right? Anything you've been through where you're like, I was really tested there. This is that. Bundle all of that up into this squat right now. You've done 30 seconds in seven seconds. Either chill or meet me for one more set of 30 seconds. Make your mind up. Three, two, one, stick or twist. I'm sticking. I am sticking, are you sticking with me? Hold it, if you need to squeeze the palms, sitting towards that squat. But the narrative in your mind right now is saying, nothing's gonna shake me. Nothing will stop me from holding this squat. I got this, I've been through more. 10, nine, hold it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, breathe. Let all the blood drain from your legs. Oh. I'm sorry, but the feeling you get from completing a workout like that, unparalleled. Gymshark, well done for taking the time out to hit this workout and do something that betters yourself both mentally and physically. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.